So this is our problem number five for the simple connections. A double angle shape is shown in the figure. So the steel is a 36 and the effective. Yeah, and so take note of the The effective hole diameter is 16 millimeters. So ibig sabihin, we don't need to add to add two millimeters sa ating 16 millimeter diameter. Kasi ang tinutukoy na rito is effective hole diameter na hindi naman siya bolt diameter or hindi lang siya basta hole diameter. It is an effective hole diameter. So, as this na yan. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, yes, ganun pa rin. Pinapahanap pa rin naman yung strength niya. Um, sa LRFD and ASD. So, simple connections pa rin tayo. Pero, this time, hindi na lang siya single angle, kundi double angle. So, ano pa magiging problema niyan? Um, wala naman siya magiging problema, actually. Magkakaroon tayo ng problema sa solving kung hindi natin um, i-consider yung pagiging double angle niya. Ang mangyayari lang naman yan is yung kagaya sa ating problem number 2. Okay? Then, susab lang natin to. Okay? Tapos, saka lang natin siya i-multiply ng 2 sa huli. So, ganun lang gagawin natin dyan. Okay? Anyway, isolve, isolve pa rin natin. Okay? Okay, so yung ating effective hole diameter is 16mm na lang mismo. Okay? Then, okay, so pwede na tayong mag-solve. Mag so, LRFD. Then, number 1. Then, number 2. For yielding, so PN is equivalent to FY, FG. Then, ang ating AG is equivalent to, okay, so, this is 127 by 75. Then, ang thickness nito is 8. Then, ang thickness naman nito is 12. Okay. Okay, so, AG niya, so, 8. By, okay, naitan nyo naman, ang mas mahaba is ito, is sabihin ito yung 127, hindi ba? So, ang gawin natin, 127 minus 8, yun yung thickness. Okay, then multiplied, uh, I mean thickness ng isang leg, may minus natin, kasi kukunin natin to Okay? Then, multiplied by its thickness, ang thickness niya is 12. Then, plus um, 75 multiplied by 8. Yan. So, this is our AG. 127 minus 8 multiplied by 12 plus 75 multiplied by 8. So, 20, 28 millimeter squared. Okay. So, masunod natin yung ating PN. 836 pa rin. Sir, pwede po ba magbago to? Yes. Pwede magbago yan. Pwede yan maging ano, um, A572. Or sa board exam kasi binibigay na yun eh. Okay. Binibigay na yung mismong FY. Binibigay na rin mismo yung FU. And karaniwan, uh, dito lang nag, ano, it, dito lang nag-range yung FY and FU. Pero syempre, dapat maging aware kayo na possible na palitan to ng professor nyo. Malay nyo, um, high strength steel yung, ano, uh, ginamit niya. So, A572, ganun. Uh, grade 50, mga ganyan. So, dapat memorize nyo yung FY and FU ng mga steel. Pero, ano lang naman yan eh, um, Karaniwang, ganyan lang, A36, A572, yan. Tapos kung gusto niya, bigay niya yung isa sa, ano, yung grade 40 and grade 60, pwede rin, okay? So anyway, wala naman magiging problema dyan. Basta aware lang kayo sa mga yan. Ang importante yung process ng pag-solve ng ating, ano, uh, mga uh, design strength, okay? So ilan na to? So 2028 times uh, 248, then divided by 1000. So, 502.94. So, 502.94 kilo newton. Then, masolve na natin yung ating um, design strength under sa yielding. So, multiply natin ng 0.90. So, 452.65. Okay. So, next, so, fracture. So, this is 0.75. PN is equivalent to FU AE. Okay? So, solve natin itong ano, X bar natin. So, ang X bar natin ngayon is ito. Send it in plane of connection. 
Okay, so, atin ito sa dalawang member. So, this is our area 2. And this is our area 1. Okay, so this is x1. And this is our x2. So, u is equivalent to 1 minus x bar over L. So, solve for a1. Ang a1 natin is 8 multiplied by 75. So, 600. Okay, um, 600 millimeter squared. Then, x1 is equivalent to, okay, 75 over 2. So, ilan yun? So, 37.5 millimeters. Next, A2 is equivalent to 12 multiplied by 127 minus 8. So, 14.28. Okay, millimeter squared. Then, X2 is equivalent to ano? Okay, so 12 over 2. Yan, thickness niya, then divided by 2. So, this is 6 millimeters. So, therefore, ang ating X bar is equivalent to 1. So, A multiplied by 37.5 plus B multiplied by 6 over A plus B. Ang A natin is 600. Ang B natin is 1428. So, 15.32. Okay. Kaya masabi natin yung ating U. So, 1 minus 15.32 over um, L. Okay. Ang total length of connection natin is 140. 70 plus 70. So, 0.89. Okay, kaya masolve na natin yung ating, ah, wala pa parating ano, <laughs> AN. Okay, so AN is equivalent to, okay, ito na lang. So 20, 28, okay, minus, okay, yung dalawang ano, uh, butas, no? So 2, multiply by diameter. Ang diameter na natin is 16. Hindi na tayo mag-add ng 2 dyan, ha, or 4. Yan na mismo yun. Okay, so, ah, sorry, minus, ano pa pala, thickness. Okay, minus, ah, multiplied by thickness pala, sorry. Nasaan ba siya? Nasa 12, okay? Nasa thickness ng 12 millimeters. So, 20, 28, minus 2, times 16, multiplied by 12. So, 16, 44. Okay, millimeter squared. So, masub na natin yung ating PN. So, 400 multiplied by 1644, then multiplied by U. Ang U natin is 0.89, then divided by 1000. So, 585.26. Then, kilo newton. Okay, so yung ating design strength under sa fracture failure is... Okay, so multiplied by 0.75. So, 438.95. Yan. So, yan. So, masasob na rin natin yung para sa AST. So, para sa ASD at yielding. Yung ating omega is equivalent to 1.67. So, ngayon, ang ating allowable design strength is equivalent to ang PN natin is 502.94 then over 1.67. So, 301.16. Okay. Then, ang ating ano, uh, so fracture under ASD, ang ating omega or yung ating factor of safety is equivalent to 2.0. Okay, so yung ating allowable strength is, ano bang PN natin dito? So, 585.26 over um, 2. 
Yan, so, 292.63 kilo newton. Yan. So, ngayon, makukuha na natin design strength natin for double angles. So, yung ating design strength. So, pili tayo ng mababa. So, 438. Okay, harus magkalapit to. So, 438.95. Then, multiplied by 2. Kasi dalawa sila. Okay? So, 877.9. Kilo Newton. And yung ating allowable strength. So, multiply natin ng dalawa rin yan. So, 292.63 multiplied by 2. So, 585.26. Oops, 585. Ah, yes, 585.26. Kilo Newton. Ayan. So, ganyan lang naman yan. Okay, kapag nag-double yung ating um, member. Pwede rin naman, um, dalawang ano to, dalawang C-channel, na nag sa gasset plate sa gitna. So, okay lang din yun. Magiging dalawa lang din yun, or imumultiply mo lang yung um, design strength, or yung ating allowable strength para sa C-channel na yun. Okay? So, ayan. So, um, reveal lang natin kung paano ulit. So, same na same lang din naman. Wala namang nagbago sa ating concept mula sa problem number 1 hanggang sa problem Number 5. Ang una, ang una lang naman natin ginagawa is isosolve lang natin yung area. Kasi nga, di ba, sinabi ko sa inyo, ang strength ng ano ng tension member is nakadepende sa cross-sectional area. So, ibig sabihin, dapat ninyo matutunan ang tamang pag-solve ng uh, gross area and um, effective net area. Okay, then, uh, katapos natin, maso katapos natin masolve yung area, eh, imumultiply mo lang yun sa ating uh, limiting stress. Okay, so para sa yielding, that is Fy, and para sa fracture, that is Fu. Okay, so yung Fy sa plastic range, and yung ating Fu is para sa ano, sa, ah, uh, tawag ito, sa ultimate stress, which is yung fracture stress, or fracture stress. Tapos, um, yes, gagamitin lang, gagamitin lang naman natin ng effective net area ang ating member kung merong isa, at higit pa na isang member do sa, or element sa kanilang as a member, okay, na hindi nakakonect. Okay? Kung wara ito, yung isang element niya, yung leg, is hindi naman nakakonect sa gas plate. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon siya ng shear lag factor. So, this uh, shear lag factor, or yung ating U, is yung nag account ng uh, shear lag phenomenon. Okay? So, yun lang din naman. Then, pares pa rin naman ang pag ng ano, ng Pag ito, effect uh, ng ating net area. Then, isa pa, yung effective hole diameter. So, huwag kayong magpapalito ron. Okay? So, ulitin lang natin. Kapag ang given ay, ano, diameter of the bolt, ang kailangan natin is mag-add ng 4 millimeters para maging effective uh, hole diameter. Or, depende sa uh, professor ninyo. Baka sa old pa rin siya, uh, parang old NCP, so 3.2. Okay? Pero kapag babasin natin yung ano, NCP 2015, so ano, 4 millimeters Or kung pagbabasihan natin ng ano, ang AASC uh, 2015, tapos naka-English unit tayo, that is ano, uh, 1 over 8 inch. Okay, so 1 over 8 inch is equivalent to 3.2 millimeters So yung ano naman, kapag ang given is hole diameter, kagaya nito, hole diameter, ang gagawin lang natin ay mag add ng 2 millimeters sa mismong um, hole diameter. Okay? And, kung sana naman, English unit, that is 1 over 16. Okay? Yan. 1 over 16 um, inches. And that is, uh, yung 1 over 16 inches na yan is equivalent to 1.6 millimeters. Okay? Ayan. So, this is our problem number 5 for the simple connections under the tension member ng ating steel design. So, thank you for watching. Bye!